What's going on guys, Alex here and welcome back to the channel. So today we are with my lovely new Golf R. So not already had a proper introduction of the car yet to the channel. I think it's popped up in a couple of videos. But yeah, so it's a little bit different to when it popped up. As you can see, it is purple. So I've had the car probably like two weeks now and I had to wrap it purple because purple is my color. So yeah, here we go. But today we are starting on the first official mod, I guess, because you can't really count wrapping it as a mod, I'm not doing a build with it being a wrap, air ride and wheels. So today we've got the boys coming over. We're going to be doing a cat back exhaust system, well, GPF back exhaust system, whatever it's called. Um, we've got a Scorpion non-resonated valved system going on. Thanks to the guys over at Car Enhancements UK. Big shout out to them. Adam always helps me out and I love him very much. So yeah, it's a bit chilly today, but we're gonna head on over to the workshop, get the car in the air and wait for the boys to arrive. In the meantime, I've got another thing to put on, which is the um, exhaust valve remote override thing. It'll make sense, but that's a, gonna be a separate video. But this video is gonna be the exhaust system. There's gonna be another video installing the other part. It all just makes sense when it's all together. But yeah, it's getting a bit chilly. So let's jump in and head over to a workshop. So car is inside defrosting as obviously I'm turning the heaters on because it is freezing. And here we have the exhaust system. So in classic YouTube style, we are going to unpackage this just like this. And just like that, it's open. So. I know bits are probably upside down and all sorts, but it's just a rough mock-up. So, like I said, the non-resonated system, because if not, you would have the resonator there. All the way through to these lovely two back boxes. And, of course, I had to go for the Ascari carbon tips because, well, you always have to go extra. So, you can't go wrong with carbon, as I went for the carbon uh, mirrors on on the car itself so obviously they're not they're carbon but they're not carbon it's carbon skinned mirror cap so it's as close as you can get without spending an absolute fortune for it so for the sake of 110 quid they, they look so much better than the silver ones but yeah so let's get the car ready up on the ramp well it's on the ramp but up in the air and yeah we'll wait for the boys to turn up in the meantime i'm going to fit the other bit and so we'll do a video on that Hopefully by the time I'm finished with that, that have arrived and we can just crack on with chopping the old exhaust off as it needs to get cut off just before the GPF and then that, then this one sleeves on top and it all fits up and hopefully, fingers crossed, today is a straightforward day because, well, it would just be quite nice for once. So yeah, let's just get straight to it really. Right, so having a look underneath the car, because I'm impatient, um, it looks like here is where we need to cut the exhaust, but it looks like there's just a connector. So struggling to undo this at the moment. So I've sprayed a bit of WD, hoping that might help. If not, I'm gonna have to get some duck oil or something. Um, but yeah, so fingers crossed, I can undo those two bolts and it should just be a connector here i think so in theory don't even need to cut anything off which would be quite nice but if we do i've got all the stuff that i need and then hopefully it's just a case of take this off and uh, do a little old switcheroo and put the new one on okay so it turned out it was literally just a little like sleeve connector thing which is so much better so there's no cutting needed it's literally just a bolt on bolt off type thing which I am all for. So I'm going to take off the exhaust hangers. Uh, so there's a bolt over there. Uh, oh, B1 somewhere around here, I guess. Oh no, that's bolted onto there. So I'm going to have to try and wiggle this one off. Um, and then these ones are bolted on again. I think I'm just going to unbolt it because it might make my life a little bit easier. And then like trying to squeeze the rubber out in like this small gap. So this one's just going to be the only annoying one, but we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. So in the meantime, unbolt, unbolt, unbolt. And then in theory, that is the exhaust off. And hopefully by that point, I'm hoping that ding is one of the boys saying they're on their way. But yeah, um, we'll have some assistance soon. 
and then we can start mocking up the new one and we can finally get some noise so we wish me luck and we'll hope that this goes smoothly Right, so after fighting with that one exhaust hanger, which is the only one that wouldn't come off, uh, well, that doesn't bolt on, we finally have got the exhaust off. So here we've got the stock motor assembly thingy, my bobby, whatever you want to call it. This is what controls the valves in the exhaust. So this we're going to remove from the factory exhaust and then it will bolt straight onto here and control the uh, the lovely aftermarket ones so before i do that i'm going to quickly finish up the uh, the wiring for the why can't i english today the harness so that it goes above the heat shield for the valve override remote thingy so I'll quickly go and do that and then we can carry on back with the installation of the exhaust system. So it's all mocked up now, all in the hangers and whatnot. Now I'm just trying to uh, fine tune the tailpipe section. And then once they're more or less in position, I can start doing everything up. And hopefully we're nearly there. Alright, exhaust is all on, all nice and tight. Got a little fry out here as well. The tailpipes are about as good as I can get them, so it's not terrible. So, time to hear a first start up and check for any leaks, and hopefully, hopefully, it should be all good to go. Just double check the valves, they still work, so fingers crossed, it sounds good. So there we have it, we've uh, installed the Cobra exhaust, well the Cobra cat back. <laughs> you can come Sam. Um, so yeah the cat back systems are installed, it's a little bit louder than standard which is good. I would have preferred it a little bit louder but uh, for that we need to do downpipes and whatnot but that will come soon. But main thing is we've got a little bit more noise, a little bit more grunt. So yeah. If you guys have enjoyed this video make, if you have make sure to subscribe and like the video as there is going to be plenty more coming soon so yeah keep your eyes peeled for that and i'll catch you in the next one cheers <laughs>